presenting today to the Lord and to you guys. And um, so basically, it's three different parts, and they tell a story about relationship with God. So the first part is all about desperation and longing and need for God. And then the second part is about encounter and experience with God. And then the third part is about the resolution and the answer that comes from getting um, just a revelation of who he is. And as we do this today, I just want you guys to know that this has been the most humbling and most beautiful experience for us, just to be a part of expressing him together with him and with each other, because we all have we all have a part of him to express. He expresses himself in us. Um, so this has just been awesome. I hope that it blesses your heart. It touches your heart. It's blessed us. Thank you, Mario, for letting us do this. And um, I also hope that you just let God move you to express him. So, yeah. Oh, and also, <laughs> Melissa is asking if you see an empty seat, if you're in the back and you see some empty seats up this way, if you could move further because she's going to be projecting her voice um, as she um, expresses God. So it will be easier for her to do that if you're closer than further away. My body's made to crumble, made of clay, made of rust. Heaven is a fortress, brass and granite wholly shut. And if I stretch to knock my fist against it, touching, I'll be crushed. So I stand here with these reaching eyes that won't stop looking up, on the verge of being ready to be broken, looking up. When thunder wakes me in the middle of the night, and I'm lying still in those first silent moments of awful wonder, asking whether the muffled ripples receding in my chest are the echo of a dream, or if a hand has broken through the darkness of my room to touch me. I feel the weight of stagnant air folding over my face like salt water ripples, uncomfortably warm and deep breaking with the tension of an unborn current. Submerged, I hold my breath until light rips through my room, bleaching everything pale, the books, the walls, the shaggy speckled carpet, freezing my world into a black and white snapshot of those already dead. And in the suddenly succeeding darkness, jagged waves of sound tear through me again. I feel them in my spine and suck in the warm, deep ocean with a jerk because it's closer than I thought. And before the waves recede and I can breathe normally again, even as I flinch and rattle with the window panes near my head, I sit up and stick out my shaking hand, open fingers stretching, reaching through the weight of darkness toward the moving heart, straining until I feel the shadow of electricity dancing on my skin, the outermost edge of your emphatic being. Before you had a mother, or a father, 
or a care. Before beginnings, I was there. Before you felt the gaze or touch of love's arousing flare, I was waiting. I was there. When love broke your skin and bruised your bones, left nothing sacred, spared. I was weeping. I was there. And when the ones around you leave this earth and leave you bare, where you are, I'll be there. Long before you thought my name, and when your faith has died, wherever I am whispered, shouted, mocked, revered, and cried, I reply. Here I am. And I am that I am. Thank you. Yeah. Woo!